Fish, it's movie night. Yo, yeah, it is. And what a cracker we've got in store, Jules. Oh, yeah, it's uh, it's a blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're trying to sell it as. Um, I'm not sure if the budget reflects that, but um, pl- what's, what, what's, what are we watching? So we're watching Invasion Planet Earth. It's by a UK film director named Simon Cox. It's a crowdfunded film. Over 900 people backed this film, including industry uh, from over in the UK. Uh, it's seemingly, its budget was under 200,000 Australian dollars. Um, the trailer is something. It's the like... trailer is something. The trailer is something. Oh, God. Look, look, I'm a big fan of uh, So Bad They're Good films, and um, I think you are too, Julesy. Um, so that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it, I think it is important to know the background behind yeah, some of it is, it is. these films before you Absolutely. go into it. It's uh, not the, a Hollywood the movie. The trailer makes it out to be this big epic. Um, it's a, aliens coming down. They're taking over the world. They're going to destroy us all. There's zombies there for some reason. I don't know. I'm interested to see where that comes in. But um, it looks like something that needs a War of the World, Steven Spielberg type budget. Um, and this guy did not have that. Yeah. But from what I've read, he has been trying to get this made for the last 20 years. I have. <laughs> and, um, you know, being a, a, an indie filmmaker myself, I totally respect that. <laughs> it's like, it took me 10 yeah. years to make oh, my right. film. Oh, that's so good. I'm, I'm you really know excited is, man. to see what this passion project was. He did it through crowdfunding. Like, he, he did it himself. This uh, something wow. of this scope. I had a few um, friends help him, but yeah, yeah, was... I'm, I'm really interested to see what <laughs> we have in store here. Yeah, so it only came out in Australia a couple of weeks ago. It's been out um, out for a little while in the UK, and and it's been released in the US. Uh, so I think it's kind of gone under the radar here in Australia. So I think hopefully it can get some. Um, some publicity out of this um, new campaign that they're launching. I, I hope so. I hope so. Well, it's really interesting. I don't know where you watch these type of films anymore. Um, you used they used to be like in the, the bottom of the video easy, uh, you know, <laughs> new release rack. Yeah. There'd be one or two of these sort of things with really yeah. cool artwork. But I and I miss those. Yeah, days. me too. I did aspire for the top to shelf to just to let you know. Um, and I just love like you know I'd go I'd get a blockbuster and I'd get a little film like that. Yeah, so, those are the days. Um, eh? To see somebody like this getting it out there, um, it looks like it is doing okay around the world. It seems to be pretty polarizing <laughs> in its reviews. <laughs> there is a video out there of the director <laughs> of the director reading back. Um, one star reviews of the I know. film. Some people have been horrible about it. Hand, <laughs> I don't know and, why. I've only just I've only made a film. Didn't kill anyone. Yeah, but like I think <laughs> I think it sounds like they're taking it in stride because um, yeah. there are also some five stars. There's, there's lots of really good reviews as well. So, so I'm interested to see where we're going to stand on this one, Julie. Five stars, I hope. Yeah, or maybe see, three, I guess four. if you can't win, if you can't make it the uh, the ten out of ten film that you were hoping, but you can push it as the uh, the one out of ten must see. A car crash film, yeah. then why not do that? I'm I'm hoping it's, no, it's not. not. That bad. No, you're gonna love it. I think you two are gonna <laughs> but love it. I've got I feeling. don't have high expectations <laughs> well, and I don't have low expectations. So I'm just level headed re- keen to see this movie, so ready to go along for the ride. Well shall we do it? Yeah, let's do let's it. Let's do it. Beers at the ready. Oh, All right. I've got my cup of tea, typical. <laughs> I got my captain. That's not a that's not a that's not a knock. That's a good thing. I'm thinking, getting drinking on this one. <laughs> All right. Well, let's reconvene after the film, and uh, we'll talk about our we'll talk about our thoughts of it. Oh my word! Good. This it. is okay. it's really nerve wracking. I tell you, very nerve wracking. Oh, hold on. Three, two, one. Okay. Well, why they watched the film? This film took me 20 years, 10 years trying to get it in development. I tried to get the money. Nobody was interested. So I crowdfunded it. I just went for it. I thought, you know, no one's going to make it for me. I've just got to go and do what, follow my passion. And I'm so glad I did. I love this film. It's done, it's done really well as well. Yeah. <laughs> they're... Okay, they're happy. They seem happy. <laughs> <laughs> and and very good. Oh boy, oh boy. What can pop you say? Oh, tune. That's uh, British pop, eighties pop icon Toya Wilcox. I admit I didn't see that twist coming with the whole 
<laughs> yes, yeah, so I thought you were going to say that. No, no. no. I thought it's pretty. That's pretty good. Oh, good. Actually. Oh, whew. yeah. And the um, there's a big twist in it. Spoiler alert. Killing, yeah, like killing off. Killing off. No, I'm glad you didn't say. I gotta say it was it was a bit confusing earlier in the film where they were like flashing forward and back and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, it's all, it'll, you should work it all out though. Yeah, right? I'm still not really sure what that. Was. Oh, okay. Have a think yeah, about it. I think you'll work it out. We'll we'll talk we'll talk yeah. about it. Let's uh, go. Okay. Well, that was something. <laughs> Yep, it certainly was. It was uh, not what I expected, um, okay. which isn't a bad that's thing. Good. That's uh, good. That's yeah, good. That's... I was taken. The the ending, which I, I won't give away, um, <laughs> I thought was quite creative. I didn't Thank see you. the ending coming. That was good. Oh, fab. Like when you, when you hear, like, first of all, I want to point out, I feel like they really didn't do well with the title of this film <laughs> invasion planet earth it's so generic and makes it so boring but originally it was going to be called kaleidoscope yeah, yeah. which uh that comes well, together as you watch the film um and when you watch the film you're kind of like why didn't they well just i'll tell it? you i took it <laughs> round to every distributor yeah. and sales uh, agent in the uk like when, as kaleidoscope man no one's interested uh, i changed the name to generic earth, title like invasion planet of earth a and it was snapped up really quickly got a theatrical here in the uk uh, just a really so, stupid and it got all over the world as well and they all really said don't change the name keep it as invasion planet earth no so, story no no commerciality unfortunately and i have to say this had it at least attempted to oh. give you a little bit more than just a surface I wanted level to make a great film, guys. That was yeah, it. Yeah, really. it had story. It, it had depth. Uh, there was some slight character development in there with, with, with the majority of the characters. Slight. So well, it was quite a lot. Very slight. Hang on, there's a lot of character development there. Was there. Okay, okay. Character development. Um, well, I tried. <laughs> some of it just kind of goes nowhere, uh, but uh, there's a lot of things set up that probably could have become more things. But there... The, the one thing it, it goes from like an alien invasion movie, which is like, Oh wow, everything's going crazy. And then all of a sudden there's all these weird flashbacks and it turns in like the whole zombie thing that has nothing to do with the aliens. That's some sort of flashback. It's all the or, no, it's, it is all the aliens. The aliens yeah, putting each other into each other's thoughts. That never really came back to mean anything. All the things that um, held back. I have back. to say, uh, it kind of comes together in yeah. the end. I thought like it really hit its straps with the alien invasion stuff. Fab. Um, it was a bit better quality than I expected, hey. to be honest. There's, there's one scene where um, they were able to shut down an entire street. Yeah. Uh, I think it's... No, it was Birmingham. Um, second, and they have hundreds of city. people who were all crowdfunded. Um, yeah, uh, I, 900 I, I people could, turned up. It was amazing. You know, pledged to be a part of the film um, from what I was reading. Yeah, you could pay, of pay, uh, pay like 40 bucks Australian and, and get it paid all the actors, film. it paid all the crew. Which is cool. And so um, I'm and, very pleased and, with that. And I, like they had hundreds of people. So much support. Like, doing so this, many doing lovely this people helped me on this uh, film. Doing the scene where the, there's these alien ships coming in and shooting at all the like hundreds of people in yeah. the street and there's tanks that and was like inspired by the day the earth yeah, is still tanks. war the world's godzilla i've wanted <laughs> to do those crowds cool. fleeing like, the streets and, but the one thing i think that hurts this film um you know and it's a it's a low budget thing so you, you got to give it some you got to give it some leeway but i you can really tell that they've shot this over many years um, oh, right. because the quality of the filmmaking is better in some scenes than it is in other scenes, um, especially right at the start. And there's a, a big cardinal sin that a lot of low budget films fall into is they don't spend the money on sound yeah. work. Um, I don't know if you we noticed in the first few scenes. But just just to very, say, like, when we went to do the ADR, there, which is replacing Dahl at the end, we had one actor yeah, in designers, LA, one um, somewhere else. And then as and, you get later into the film, And I just film, couldn't afford to crisp, uh, um, pay for Some it, of the special effects were so pretty we did the best cool. we could. Uh, I gave it everything. A lot better than what I expected. Like, I was, I was thinking bottom of the barrel. <laughs> no, it's um, good effects. I, I had to learn how to do CGI, by the way, for this. I was thinking... That's myself like really and a few others we stuff. just got on and did it but it was pretty possible yeah there were some scenes that were possible but then there were some scenes where i was like really like when they first get inside the spaceship 
Like that. Yeah. That's... Yeah. And inside the station. Oh, <laughs> well, it's, good it's a fantasy thing. thing. It's a lot, there look at the first Lord of the Rings. Green the screen MC. work. Um, some very obvious green screen work. Oh, it's hard. Uh, we did, I tell you, we gave it everything. I gave it everything I could. Um, so. But look, I'm I'm quite impressed. Hey, thank you. <laughs> I. I didn't want to turn it off. Hey, let's oh, that's, say that. Okay. Like there was a few times. Yeah, I watched the whole thing. It's good. <sighs> yeah, like I watched. Um, I watched a film uh, on Shutter the uh, the other day. It, it was an Australian film that I've been I've been really looking forward to, and it's getting actually being quite critically acclaimed. It's called The Furies, and it's a, it's just like a you know just an Australian horror slasher sort of film, and through that that's my jam and i love that sort of stuff i'm going to turn that off halfway through but this one i was like no i i, I kept with this i was i was intrigued and the ending was quite satisfying oh, i thought fabulous fabulous yeah i agree i don't know at like some point i was getting like interstellar vibes i don't know i was just feeling I that yeah, actually, Interstellar is the perfect I mean, example. I was making this when Interstellar um, came it out, so very it's much older than Interstellar. Like Christopher Nolan to pull that off. <laughs> yeah, but hang on a sec. Christopher uh, Nolan had what you, 100 yeah, million plus to make Interstellar. It I wouldn't mind that. I'd have done it for half yeah, that. You yeah. weren't uh, you weren't going through different yeah. dimensions as such as uh, yeah flashbacks or yeah. something something like that. Some, I don't know. Yeah, I guess we don't want to we don't want to spoil it for anyone, but. No, no. But like, look, it's a it's a good Friday night flick. Hey, it is a good Friday night flick. Uh, you know, it's, and you want to watch it like more than once. You'll, you'll, you'll find lots in it. Yeah, you have the, the chance Thursday to do something night. like me and Jules are doing. <laughs> um, you could, you, you know, get on the drink, have a few, <laughs> have a few laughs with it. Um, yeah. But and there's a few emotions. Don't worry about the fact like, it took me twenty was, years. I was, I was a bit oh, hit here you. and there. That's so, great. That's great to know. To to make me feel something like that in such a big great <laughs> film um i gotta give it props like simon cox you did a good job oh, thank you mate thank Definitely you wouldn't so give much, this movie guys. one star like i know he was ready no! for those one star reviews but yeah it was definitely a bit more it's, short two and a half free free it's stars not unwatchable i gave it everything like there's there's entertainment value good. to it um again fun. you gotta go to make a fun with film right expectations like and I think that's what's going to hurt it a lot. Like a lot of people might see the trailer and be expecting like Battlefield, um, not Battlefield Earth. That's a terrible film. <laughs> uh, was it Battlefield Los Angeles? Yeah. Was that, uh, there was something else. Another, LA, another like an Asian yeah. type of yeah. film. What, Cloverfield? Um, uh, let's go Cloverfield. You it's nothing like, like Cloverfield, Cloverfield okay. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you come in and you get like a low budget almost student film um it's kind of I'm like, not a student look yeah, at the age of me jarring but and this is my second feature with the right expectations way. and like you said we we had a pretty low bar and it it jumped oh, over the bar for me so, that's that's good uh, to know that's good to know <laughs> I, I i don't know i'd give it like a, a two 2.5 maybe it's a out of five okay um which would be like a five out of ten i guess but like it's not it's not horrible it's fantastic. Yeah, it, it did exactly what I was expecting it to do, which was be entertaining. Good. So, oh, that's great. That's, <laughs> that's all I wanted to make yeah. a fun, good that, inspiring, good that be there entertaining you film. Each other those looks every now and then. Yeah, just every now and then you'd look, I'd look over and see your face. I'd start, there was one scene that was just like a real like... And, and you were like... When the chick got out the scissors, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that was... I think we're like, yeah, yeah, well, you know, <laughs> it's got to be done. Yeah, good. Got to be done. Got to be done. Yeah. Well, there you go. Well, thanks, guys. I, I'm so chuffed that you uh, enjoyed the movie, and uh, thanks for that lovely review. Uh, it was a bit nerve-wracking watching that, I have to say, but um, I'm really, really chuffed you liked it.